Oh no, we've got some goofs. In the last episode, I made a goof and said that you could heal by grabbing a golden banana, which is just completely wrong. I don't know why I said that. If we can grab a golden banana, that should heal us up. You will sometimes get healed after playing a barrel game, and you can even just hop inside the tag barrel and hop right back out to get fully healed, but no, golden bananas do not heal you. And another thing, during the maze game last episode, I completely forgot to mention there was a new enemy there, which was Cop. I was too busy trying not to get captured by flashlights, but uh, yeah, that is a new enemy as well. But with that, hello and welcome to more Donkey Kong 64. We're back in Angry Aztec as Diddy Kong, but we're not going to be playing Diddy or playing Angry Aztec today. The thing is, guys, in the last episode, we did defeat the boss of this place and get the key to go to the second or actually the third level in the game. But the way that I'm going to be handling this series is I'm always going to be going and completing all of the levels we currently have unlocked as far as we can before we move on. So what do we have left to do before we can go do the third level? Well, we need to do Linky Kong in Angry Aztec, and we need to do Tiny Kong and Linky Kong back in Jungle Japes. And like I said, today we're not playing Angry Aztec. Today we're going to be doing a two-for-one special. We'll be doing both Tiny Kong and Lanky Kong back in Angry Aztec, or <laughs> back in Jungle Japes. So let's go ahead and take a detour from Angry Aztec for now. Let's hop on out of here, and let's go swap on over to Tiny Kong. We're gonna do her first. We'll do Lanky Kong afterwards. So there's Lanky. We'll get to him in a bit. But for now, let's go and play Tiny Kong. So we'll just exit right out of here. We can take Warp 2, and that'll put us really close to where the uh, Jungle Japes is going to be. So we'll pop right on through that banana port. And yes, it's right over this way. It's very close to where we start from these warps. Just gotta make sure I don't get hit by Mr. Nwadi. It's gonna be right outside. Nah, he's way over there. We're fine. So let's go inside, guys, and let's get started. Just have to get up this little, this little portal here, and we'll be good to go. So that is one thing in this game, is we do have to spend a lot of time walking back and forth to play all the different Kongs, but yeah, as you'll see, this level is gonna be very quick for Tiny and for Lanky, which is pretty much why I'm doing both of them in one episode. I think the reason why their sections are going to be so quick is because you don't unlock Tiny or Lanky during this level, so you can never actually use their bananas towards the boss fight anyways, so they pretty much just exist for grabbing banana medals and some more golden bananas, but they don't actually help you contribute to unlocking the boss fight of this level or anything like that. So that's probably why they made it so quick for these ones, but as you'll see, they don't take very long at all. So we'll go inside here and let's go and hit that target right over here. Five bananas as well as a golden banana barrel. So let's hop inside Welcome and we're gonna have to do some swimming, dude. Oh, collect all the coins, but watch out for the starfish. Yeah, they just call them starfish. They don't call them by their actual name, Shuri, but that's fine. So it's kind of like a hard mode of one of the training barrels we did back in episode one, where we had to swim down and grab one coin. This one we have to swim around and grab more than one coin, quite a few coins, and we have to dodge enemies. These ones are the awkward ones, the ones kind of around the middle there. Once we get to the bottom, we can kind of just hug the wall and just swim along it like this, and it's pretty easy, actually. And then there will be one more coin in the middle as well. Oop, kind of swam right over that one. Let's get this, and then we'll go back and get that one. There we go, and then we'll swim through the middle and grab this. And then there's one more I missed. Did I miss one that was up higher? I think I might have, so let's swim back up there. And let's look around for it. Getting a little bit low on time. Uh, no, it's at the bottom. <laughs> How the crud did I miss that? So let's go down and let's get it. What the crud are you doing, Tiny Kong? Well, we got that crud, and I gotta make sure not to forget to grab this banana because the, the gate will close, so we'd have to shoot it back open. But all right, we got that, and now there's some more bananas to get. Oh, camera, camera, cooperate. There's some more bananas to get down this tunnel right here. So we'll keep on going through. And once we get through here, I wanna start heading off towards Cranky. Now, the thing is, guys, not every single level is going to have an unlockable for every single Kong. So once we go to Cranky with Tiny, there's actually nothing for her here. So it's not a huge reason to go back that way, but I want to do it anyways just to uh, get the bananas that are near Cranky, as well as some stuff that's in the tunnel along the way. So I will show what Cranky says when he has nothing for you, but yeah, it's uh, nothing too special. But I do want to go up this way, down this right path. This is the one that was blocked off by that Rambi icon. Got some blue bananas back there we're going to have to get, but right now we'll focus on these purple ones. And over here, we've also got a banana fairy, which I'm definitely not going to miss. So just like with the guns, if you hold down Z in your camera mode, you can also move much more slowly, which is pretty handy. First try, let's go, dude. I definitely got that. 
Yeah, I love that sound so much. So that will recharge our ammo and all of our goodies here, which I guess I was already good on ammo. Probably should have shot this target before, but there's ammo in the water as well. Oh, oh, already got it. So let's hop on into the water and get ourselves some more coins. Yeah, these are more useful coins than the ones that were inside that bonus game. Don't really need the ammo, so if we miss some of the ammo boxes, it doesn't really matter. So that's it for the side path. Let's go back to the main path and head off towards Cranky. So we'll just dodge this side. The other side across here, up that other ramp, that's going to be a, a path that's good for Lanky Kong. You can even see a blue banana leading up to it. So once we get to Lanky's portion, we will go up that way. Here we are next to Cranky, so let's go inside and let's talk to that old guy and just see what he has to say to us. So he'll just say that he doesn't have anything for me and that we have to come back a bit later. So yeah, there's nothing here for Tiny Kong. And I should mention, there is something here for Lanky Kong, but you could buy that upgrade here or even in Angry Aztec because not all upgrades are tied to the individual level that you get them at. So yeah, we could have done Angry Aztec as uh, Lanky Kong first, no problem. I just decided to mix things up a bit and not have a fourth Angry Aztec episode in a row and instead come back here to Jungle Japes. Although, for later levels, we might very well have four or five episodes in a row in the same level. Oh, There's the golden banana. So, let's go ahead and get over to warp number four. That'll get us pretty close to it. Take that, crud. And we have to hop into the water and just go to the left a little bit here. They don't give you a lot of time for this one, but, well, you don't really need a lot of time because it's so nearby. So swim over here. And let's go grab it. So there is two down already. Now, after that, I want to swim over to the warp number three here, just because it's kind of nearby. I actually want to take the warp and warp to the other side. But swimming over to this, I think, is a little bit faster than swimming directly to the other side. So let's go ahead and enter here. And I want to go up this tunnel, because this tunnel has a lot of stuff for Tiny Kong. The thing is, we do end up walking down a lot of the same areas we've already been, but a lot of Kongs will also just have their own kind of unique area. Let's go ahead and charge up a shockwave, get that guy knocked out, and grab the blueprints here. Or purple prints, whatever you want to call them. And some coins as well. But yeah, a lot of the time, we're going to have situations where there's an area locked off to a certain Kong. So even though we're back in Jungle Japes, we actually have this brand new area over here that we haven't been able to play before. So let's go ahead and shoot those targets, and right inside, a very nice little area. And this is also where we're going to grab warp number five. So I do want to take that after we finish this area. Now, right here, you will see some little bananas inside, but we can't go in, even though it looks like we totally fit. Can't go in unless we're tiny, or tinier, I guess. So we'll get those in a bit. But first, I want to go up here, and there's a little side area that we can go inside. So let's go tiny. Tinier. And let's go inside, dude. I don't know what this thing is. It looks like a giant armadillo shell cave or something. I don't know if this is somehow related to armadillo or wasps or... I don't know, man. But we're going to go inside. Oh, I guess there is wasps. Let's go ahead and destroy that critter. Stop dodging! Stop dodging, you crud! <laughs> wow, dude! Oh my gosh! Oh, okay. That was like some Matrix crud. He was dodging everything. So inside here, we've got door number three. We've got door number two. And then we've got... I, I guess this is door number one. It's open. So we'll go this way first and get to one of my favorite rooms in the entire game. There's not a lot in here. I just think it's really cool how there's like all these star patterns on the walls. And if we look up, there's also like a disco ball in the ceiling. It's kind of weird, but I like it. Let's go ahead and hit that first try. Boom. And if we hit this switch, that will open up door number two. So now we have to go down that path and then find another switch. Hit that switch and that'll open up path number three. So we'll start off with, well, three's that way. So let's start off with two over here. There's really not a lot to this one. No disco balls or anything, man. Just some purple coins hiding right here. And then we'll go and deal with another purple claptrap. It's gonna spam some shots. Whoa, there was another one! Okay, that one was very sneaky, but we got him. Uh, I guess I could play my saxophone, but I'd rather not. So we'll just knock that guy out. And might as well get some restocks here. I can kind of use this ammo. Missed a lot of shots against that zinger. There we go. So now let's go and hit this switch, and that'll open up the final door. And thankfully, we don't have to bring any of the other Kongs inside here. Not that we could, because they can't shrink down, but yeah, this area is exclusive to Tiny. It's her own little her own little side area, which is pretty cool. I wish Tiny, or I wish Lanky would get his own cute little side area. Ah, well. 
So let's go up here and hopefully not get destroyed by Purple Claptrap. All right, we're doing pretty good. We've got some Zinger as well. I'm going to try to dodge him too. Let's go around and grab all of these bananas here. There we go. We're up to 70. Almost got that medal. And there is Golden Banana number three. So we'll grab that one. And uh, let's get back out of here. I guess I'll just, uh, ah, I guess I'll just edit out. Here we are, and we are almost completely done with Tiny Kong. We have just a couple things left to do. Right over here inside this stump is a golden banana, so we'll swap down to Tinier Kong. And to get inside, we have to go and jump on this mushroom right here. So we'll bounce on that, and we we'll drop in, and we got it. And it might look like we're trapped now, but the gate will open up for us, so we're not stuck in here forever. So there we go. And I don't want to leave Tiny Form yet, because I want to go through these little side areas with the, uh, the logs here. And once we go inside, there is a whole lot of bananas. All the bananas left for Tiny Kong are inside these. So once we go inside, the game kind of takes control and does this little cutscene. And it'll automatically run through here, uh, it'll automatically run through here for us. We got ourselves a banana medal. And yeah, 15 bananas from just that one. And then over here is going to be another 15 bananas. That will finish us off. There's a little bit more we have to do with Tiny Kong. We do need to go turn in that blueprint, but that's pretty much it, man. So we'll run through here, let the game take over with this little cutscene thing, and get that wonderful sound. So satisfying, man. So we're done being super tiny. Now let's go and take warp number five. This will take us right back over to Snide. And also very importantly, right up here we've got some purple coins. Yeah, dude. So let's go ahead and grab all these. I guess some oranges as well. We kind of use those a lot inside that tiny area. Now we'll hop down, and we are going to go inside Snide. I do want to mention really quick that I have been told if you get multiple blueprints and you go inside, it'll turn them all in at once, and then you only have to watch the animation one time. I tried this when I was pre preparing for this episode. I got lankies and I got tinies. I went inside, and I had to do them each individually. I had to turn in tinies as tiny. I had to turn in lankies as lanky. So I'm going to go ahead and just do that, because that's how I have to do it. It's possible that this game got patched at some point, so with old games, of course you can't just like download a patch off the internet, but with old games, they'd like do a print run of cartridges and then they'd have a patch, and then they'd, you know, do a new version and they'd do a print run of that. So maybe different versions, or depending on your region, maybe you can turn in multiple at once, or maybe, uh... That was just like a misremembering type of thing. I'm not sure, but for my game, I cannot turn them all in at once. I have to turn them in one at a time there. So let's check our blueprints. There we go, two with Tiny. So that is gonna be it for Tiny Kong, guys. And as you can see, this episode's a little bit short. So let's go do Lanky Kong as well. Let's swap on over to him. And let's take a look at his animation. <laughs> it's so ridiculous, but I love it. Dude, Lanky Kong is actually my favorite Kong. Oh, hey, Squawk. Hello, Lanky there. Are five golden bananas for you here, too. Yeah, he just tells us that every time we play a new Kong. So let's check out Lanky's moveset. We've got our regular jump. We've got our long jump. Oh, with a wonderful sound effect. And we also have our backflip here. Our regular attack is a very long range attack right here. We also have our um, dash attack, which is really good. It hits all around you. And our jump attack. And Lanky does not have a crouching beat to start with, so that's a bit unfortunate, but we'll get one pretty soon. So we'll go grab some goodies here. And because of all the rainbow coins we've been collecting throughout the game, yeah, we already have plenty of money on Lanky here. So I just want to grab this five banana, and then we're going to drop right down here, because we have Funky Kong. So let's go inside, and let's get Lanky's weapon. We'll skip the dialogue, of course. Let's press A, and we got ourselves our Grape Shooter. So now all those Grape targets we can deal with. There was Funky Kong in Angry Aztec as well, so you could buy the weapon there too. It doesn't really matter, but I just felt like doing Jungle Japes today, so that's what we're doing, man. So we got that crud, and now we're going to go back out and drop down even further, all the way down into the water here. Because down in the water, we're going to have a couple blue coins tucked away in this corner. And we're also going to have five blue bananas kind of scattered throughout here. So let's swim along and grab whatever we can. And there we go. So now let's start heading back over towards Cranky Kong, because I do want to go get that upgrade for him. So unlike Tiny, we are going to have an upgrade from Cranky for Lanky here. So let's go up. And there is some stuff I want to get in the tunnel, but I want to get the upgrade from Cranky first. Let's go on inside. Let's see what we got, Lanky. 
<laughs> dude, I just love Linky so much. And not just because he's a ginger, dude. I've perfected another of my potions, Linky, and it's yours for just three coins. You won't get much farther without it, so I suggest you pay up. So that first text box with Cranky's the same, but he will explain for uh, he will explain to us how to use this crud once we get it. We get the orang stand, Palmus Wacom, and this is very similar to the Talon Trot from Banjo Kazooie. This handy little move should help you get up steep slopes. It's easy enough even for you, Lanky. Just press and hold Z, and then press B. Keep Z pressed. So it's almost exactly the same as the Talon Trot from Banjo Kazooie. We can get to go up uh, steep slopes with it. The only thing is, it's not super fast like Talon Trot was. So we are going to have some blue bananas and a switch over that way that I do want to get. But once we hit the switch, we'll be on a timer. So I want to hit that after we go do the stuff in the tunnel here. But here is a rank stand. So we can just stand on our hands and we can now go up steep slopes. That slope right there was not steep. But the thing is, I can't actually tell if this is faster than just walking. I've tried to time it and it, every time I time it, it seems to be the same. So I think this really does just help you go up slopes. Maybe there's a speed increase, but if there is one, it is very small. It's probably tinier than Tiny Kong in her tiny form. So we'll go over this way now. And here we have the blue Kasplat. Go ahead and do a shockwave. Get that guy taken out super easily. There we go. Let's go and use our new grape shooter to shoot this balloon here. Okay, didn't even need to do two shots. And over here, we're going to have some blue coins. And these right here, these are actually steep slopes. So if we try to walk up this normally, we'll get some way up it. And then we'll just slide back down. You could try to jump along the way and stuff, but it's just not going to work. So we'll go ahead and use our ring stand. And up we go. Just like that. Don't really need the film, but got that too. So we'll hop back down, and now we'll go do our ring stand over on this side as well. Up we go. Up to 42 bananas. So let's hop inside, and we got ourselves another mini game. This one, kind of like what we had with Tiny Kong, is a hard version of a mission or a mini game we had to do during the training barrels back in episode, uh, episode one. So we just have to hop up, hop along the vines, and grab some coins. It's actually pretty easy, as long as you're decent at uh, vine swinging, because the game will automatically turn to the next vine, so all you have to do is just press A at the right time, and the game kind of plays itself for the other portions. And we're done. So in my opinion, that one is so much easier than the Tiny Kong one with the swimming. So with that done, we'll grab ourselves this golden banana, and we're gonna head back to Cranky Kong. Not because I actually want to talk to the guy again, but I want to go and grab those blue bananas as well as hit that switch with Lanky's face on it. So I'm not going to deal with white-haired Kasplat. No reason for that. We'll just go up and walk on over. I guess I got a ring stand, but then we have to listen to Lanky make noises. I mean, Lanky makes some great noises, of course, but yeah. Let's go over here and let's climb up this tree because we are going to have a bundle of five up here. Here we got him. I might as well try to do a long shot and shoot the balloon from here. Wait for it to turn back around. Come on. Yeah, we got it. So let's go down, grab this blue banana, and hit that switch. So this one has a pretty long timer, so I'm really not too worried about it. What I'm going to do is run back to warp 4, and then run to warp 2, and then we can drop down and grab it pretty easily. Just go over here. Here's to do some long jumps. I love the long jump sound effect. Oh, warp 4 is actually over this way. Whoopsie. Ah, big, big dude. So we'll go inside warp number four. I'm super glad that there's a big timer for this one, because, yeah, that was a bit of a goof. Let's go through. We'll swim underwater just for extra speed. And I just want to get that warp number two. Let's hop up there. And once we're up this way, we can just drop down pretty easily. Right next to us here. And, yeah, even with me missing the warp at the start, we still have over 20 seconds to spare. Let's go grab that. That is banana number two down. And now we're going to take the uh, cannon right here. I'm going to go turn in the blueprints at Snide. I won't make you guys watch the animation a second time. So we'll just uh, go through here. And I'll turn that in. And then we're going to do something a little bit strange. So let me just go do that real quick. Yay! We got it. Up to 35 golden bananas. Good job, Lanky. So let's go ahead and exit out. And I did say we would now do something a little bit weird. And what we're going to do is swap over to Diddy Kong. And the reason for that is, for some reason, there's a path we want to go as Lanky, but they hide it behind a peanut target. So we're going to go over as Diddy Kong and drop down right here. And then I'm going to go across on top of this tree over this way. Not, not, not the cannon. Let's just go on top of this tree here. 
Can I make it? <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure you can make that jump, but it's fine. So right above this path over here, there's for some reason a peanut target. I don't know why this is here. I don't know why this is not a grape target, but yeah, we're gonna hit that and it's gonna open up this side path. There's also some DK dirt on top of that mountain, but I don't want to go there as Diddy. I want to go there as Lanky. So let's go to Lanky now and we'll go down. And this is another slope that we have to use a rank stand to get up. And we're up it. <laughs> Just like that. So let's go and smack this crud. Get ourselves yet another rainbow coin. So rich, dude. We're so stinking rich. And let's go inside. Whoa, what is this area? Help me out, squawks. Uh, he doesn't even say squawk, but we got the, uh, we got the banana metal, but he mentions that these pegs look a little bit loose, so what we're gonna have to do is ground pound those. A nice little picture of DK Isle right there, including an island floating up there. Hmm. And a golden banana hidden behind. So before we get to that, I want to go and shoot this. <laughs> I missed both shots. Okay, got that. And now let's go up here, and we'll just do a backflip into a ground pound. So that'll hit that peg in. And we're gonna go over here and do the same for this one. So it's just these two pegs. Smack that one. And that's gonna make a whole bunch of zingers appear. If you did Angry Aztec first and you got your instrument, that's a good time to use it. But I'm gonna go ahead and just do this with the gun. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that was a close one. He was up in my face, dude. Okay, we're gonna get this guy. I got him. Yes, one more to go. Missed him a whole lot. Come here, guy. Yeah, we got him. So after you defeat all of the zingers, that will open up this path right here. Oh, banana. Yeah, let's grab it. Man, I kind of need some ammo, but with that, guys, we have just five blue bananas. Ooh, banana fairy. Yes, I also want to get that. So that's the second and final blue, or second and final banana fairy for this level. Let's get that real quick. Yes, I got it. Okay, so let's get that wonderful sound. Yeah. And let's go get our stuff recharged. And as I was saying before, we have to get five more blue bananas as well as the final golden banana. And to get there a little bit more quickly, I'm actually going to exit the level. Because you can exit level pretty quick in this game. And then I can just walk right back in. So that'll take us right back to the start of the level very quickly. I haven't actually timed this. I'm not sure if this is faster than just walking here from outside. But I want to go back to the starting tunnel. So I feel like this is a pretty convenient way to get there. Let's do some long jumps. Work our way back in this place. And yeah, we're going to have that little target we have to hit with our grape gun. And that's going to be it, man. There's a couple of blue coins in here, but yeah, the blue bananas are in here as well. So that's really all there is. So as you guys can see, Lanky and Tiny Kong for uh, Jungle Japes are pretty, da pretty darn quick. I really thought about splitting it between two episodes, but I thought those would just be too short. So we'll go ahead and do this and let's go inside. Pretty similar to what we had in the last episode with Donkey. We have another maze game, but Donkey, he likes to sneak behind enemies. With this one, we have to destroy them all, because Lanky does not mess around, man. So we have to go through and not be sneaky. We have to be uh, bloodthirsty. <laughs> I don't know. I guess Lanky Kong is very bloodthirsty. That's very much his character. So go over there and smack that one. So yeah, this one is still a maze. I think the layout's maybe identical, if not very similar to what we had in the last one. But this time, we don't want to just get to the end. We want to get to the end after killing everything. Just got to make sure we take all those paths, knock those guys out, and then we'll be done. Good job, Lanky. I love his little winning animation. It's so good, dude. Lanky Kong is just amazing. Anyways, guys, this is the final golden banana for this crud. Well, let's go ahead and grab that crud. And fives across the board. <laughs> yeah! So let's go take a look at our totals, man. We got everything done with Lanky Kong. We've got everything done with Tiny Kong. And if we go look at the level as a whole, all we need left is those 100 green bananas, the five golden bananas, and that banana medal. We've got the crown, we've got four banana medals, we've got 400 bananas, and both of the fairies done. So that is all we can do in Jungle Japes until we unlock the next Kong. So I guess we're going to have to go ahead and wrap things up here for today. We'll come back next time, and maybe next time will be a bit of a short one, but we got to go wrap up some loose ends with Angry Aztec. we got to go finish off the lanky stuff there. So we'll come back next time, we'll do that, and then after that we'll move on to the next level. So I'll see you all then. Take care!